Today, we're going to have a discussion around the five most important technological advancements you would want in your vehicle if yeah. you're a first-time buyer. You ready? Yes. Ready? Yeah. Anna Maria and Eddie, as mm -hmm. always, welcome yeah. and welcome to everybody out there. Let's get into it. Before we get to the five most important points uh, when buying your first car, let's have a look at what happened in a very short period of time in the context of history. It was yesterday that uh, you know cars came onto the scene. Everybody said they'll never replace horses, and then they did. And then the Model T came out, where you had a line production, where you know the thing just took the car on and parts were bolted on and then it went out. You could have it in any color that you wanted as, as long as it's black. As long as it's black. So that was your choice. Any color you want as long as it's black. And it only had four wheels and a steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. What else do you need? That's all you need. Do you need well, do apparent, they? Apparently no, you don't need we, only that. Yeah. No, but for safety <laughs> and everything you need more. So in your opinion, Ed, let's start with you. What is the number one technological advancement in a vehicle that you wouldn't live without? Um, given what I do now, yes. definitely Bluetooth. Bluetooth, okay, <laughs> Bluetooth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that shocked me. Okay, okay, Bluetooth. Okay, cool, I cool. I received quite a number of calls whilst <laughs> driving. That's so a I... beautiful answer. Okay, Anna Marie, what's the number one thing? I'm not going to choose voice control. I want power steering. Power steering. Okay. Has anyone here been in a car accident? Yeah, yes. I have. Been. Okay, so I've, I've been in, in one massive car accident. And... The, it, I was very, very lucky. I walked out, there was a scratch on my thumb, that was all, and then the airbag in front hit me, and the airbag on the side hit me, and when I walked out, my glasses were all <laughs> wonky. I didn't know where I was, but I survived. So for me, number one most important thing in the car is the airbag, for me. Because had I not had an airbag that day, who knows? Maybe I wasn't sitting with you guys here. Well, I survived, I survived the crash in an old Toyota test. So oh, I, st I still made it out. <laughs> but I mean, look at look at those guns. You're a tough guy. So I don't know. I don't know if I would have been so lucky. You're a tough guy. So, what would you guys say? I'm going to give you my list. Do you agree or disagree? First time car buyer. What are the five most important pieces of tech that you want? in the context of what you can get today in today's market. So it's going to start off with ABS. Uh, no, airbag, 100%. Number one for me is airbag. <laughs> they hurt, but they save lives. So airbag, I've got power steering. I've got you covered because when last have you driven a car without power steering? It's not pleasant. Yeah. Imagine no, parallel not, parking. It's dangerous. Me and you, it's we're going to struggle, but our heads, no, uh, you know, he's going to... That's where we started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where the guns come from, okay? ABS and traction control. Yeah, you, you mentioned first-time drivers. Somebody please give all first-time drivers a PDC. PDC? Yeah. That's a, that's a good point. We, we find our cars at uh, parking at malls with scratches. And I mean, <laughs> PDC, PDC can assist PDC quite PDC a lot. PDC assist yeah. you, reverse yeah. cameras. Yeah. But taking into, into context what, you know, the, the discussion that, that, that we're having now, I mean, you drive a new countryman. That car is a tech fest. I mean, you can speak to the car, it does things, yes. where it books services, tells you your key, your app tells you how much fuel you have in your car. I you can drive switch a, the vehicle on from my app. I mean, you drive a fancy BMW, same technology, yeah. shared. You can, you can switch on your air conditioner from your app yes. while, you're at, while you're at your house and the car is in the garage. Yes. Okay, imagine. So we came from a place where there was a steering wheel and four wheels to switching on your air conditioner from an app in your living room while the car's in the garage. Where are we going? All thanks to, co to competition, eh? There we go. We all know um, the, the German guys, they, they, led, led, they led in the game, but right now we have every player fighting to get their share. And definitely the share of the cake, the, which is the same size. It stayed <laughs> the same size. Yeah. Definitely beneficial for the consumer because you You don't get small vehicles anymore. No, you now get, you now get your... your your fully, fully equipped vehicle, right, without paying for extras. Back, 10 years back, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even get, you wouldn't buy a car with a sunroof and leather seats and, and for a fixed price, no, you'd have to pay. You would have to pay. Yeah. We had an off-camera discussion and, and, and our colleague said, Vince said, 
that if you, if you want to know what's going to be in your Corolla in 10 years from now, have a look at what's in the S-Class today, yeah. and in 10 years it will be in the Corolla. Certainly. So what's going to be in the S-Class? That's my question. Yeah. <laughs> we, need to, we need to go drive one. <laughs> we need to go drive one. And, 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 Is it going to make me coffee in the morning? I hope so. Jeez, I love coffee. But I just want to touch on the competition. And you said, you, I fully agree, the customer ultimately wins because yeah. they com you know, the, the big companies, all the companies are competing for the attention and they need to have a service or a extra or a feature mm. that is a, a, a seller towards that customer. And then when the one does it, the other does it better, the other does it better. And eventually, we end up with S-Class technology in our Toyota Corollas. But not too long ago, you would get airbags only in front. Yeah. Yeah. And then suddenly, it's got the airbags, the, the curtain one to airbags. The side hits your and then you one to the middle pillar, basically. So that is just how it evolves. Yeah. But nowadays, I think for safety purposes, it's the ABS, the airbags, the traction control, the power steering, but then come the nice features, and that is also where the the clientele win, because mm. they get all that additional extras: the sunroof, the leather, the Bluetooth, um, the voice control. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Since we're still on a case of uh, first-time buyers, so we all live different lifestyles. It's very important to know that um, with certain makes, there are features that you pay for extra. So what you want to do is you. You want to do your research. Be sure that whatever you're paying for will be beneficial to you. I mean, I, I know of a guy that bought a car with a sunroof and he, he hardly even opened the roof. He could have just bought a plane vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Without, without the sunroof. Yeah. But ma maybe that consumer was thinking resale value. Yes. You never know. Looks, yeah. you know, you don't know what function the vehicle <laughs> needs, to, <laughs> needs to be doing. I know people that would buy the highest spec level yeah. just because it's got full color-coded bumpers because then again we've got safety now then we've got the comfort and then it's the the basic look of the vehicle yeah. so yeah. people would go for mags and that's a feature yeah. and specific mags and pay more money because that is what they like my, my thing is if you don't need it don't pay for it exactly yeah. but getting into the difference between back then steering wheel four wheels uh, now, today, currently it, it exists, your car has it, your car has, has similar features as well. You can switch on your aircon from your lounge via the internet. I just want to ask you a question and some food for thought. Looking into the future, we've got electrification. The new vehicles are all racing to, to have the, the electric powered vehicle that can last the longest range. So that's currently a selling point. Yeah. Then you have um, automation, which is which is self-driving vehicles. So vehicles that can take you from A to B yeah. while you're having your cup of coffee, they're hopefully made in that. your car. Although that's where we're headed, I, I, I still feel so uncomfortable about it. No, <laughs> I mean, even the electric cars, I still feel uh, uncomfortable. Let, let me ask you this. On your comfort level, how do you think the cowboy felt riding his horse yeah. when a car came along? <laughs> uncomfortable. So the only sure. constant is change. Yeah. That's the only constant. And the... The harder the, the manufacturers compete, the more we win as consumers because we're going to have the best tech. The new Teslas, you park it in your garage at night, it does a software update, and your car has a different ecosystem when you jump in the next morning. You, you've, you've done nothing. It just does it automatically. That already exists. Imagine 10, 20 years from now. What will the S-Class have? The, the good part, I mean, it's, 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 it's all designed to make our life easier. And why not? Loved, loved the conversation. Thank I you very much. I would go for the electric now, home and back. But I doubt if I'll take it on our roads from here to Cape Town. You will, hundred percent. You will. You will. As long as, as long as, the manufacturers are pushing governments to to make sure that proper infrastructure but that's the gets problem. built. The, uh, currently, the infrastructure for no, me not is yet. not ready. We're yet. Not ready yet. But locally, I'll do it. Any day. I'll agree and disagree. Let's agree to disagree. I think we're ready. Yeah. You, you're only ready for something when you start doing it. I think we need to start. And, okay, uh, then it's time to trade in the Mini. Yeah, 100%. The electric one you get available. an electric Mini today. Yes, yeah, it's 100%. available. It's beautiful. It's very nice. Yeah, but, uh, but I can't hear it and I want to hear my car. The South African market, we, we still want that sound and the exhaust. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Guys, I've had so much fun today. Thank you very much. 
for the viewers out there. If you enjoyed our conversation, please comment, like also. Subscribe to our channel. And ring the bell. Ring a bell. Thank sure. you very much and take care everybody. Bye-bye.